Okay, have the jury came to a verdict? Yes. And we have come to a decision that Joel is Ah, good day everyone, and welcome back to another episode of X-Life! Woohoo! Yeah! So the last episode, I... It was kind of just like a little bit of everything episode. I don't need to recap it, you need to go watch it. But here I am today, um, I made a few changes in between episodes, like I added a little bit of this, I added a cute little fence over here, and uh, yeah, the place is looking real cute, but I want to do more. Like this whole area is just looking very barren and blank, and I've been meaning to create a cute area for my waystone portal for when people enter into Joey's Wonderland. So I saw a really cool comment a couple videos ago that suggested that I turn this into a giant tree. Just like in Alice in Wonderland, she uh, falls into a tree into the rabbit hole and that's how she enters Wonderland. So I feel like that would be so perfect for when people teleport through the waystone is they enter through the tree and then they come out of the tree into... Listen, it's not exactly like I'm not going to create a giant hole that they come into. So this is the closest thing. So I, I, I don't trust myself with building a giant tree. And uh, there's someone on the server who is going to be giving out their service of building in exchange for something. I don't know. And that's Flip. As you guys know, he gave me some suggestions on my roof, and he's a great builder. So I say we go chat with him and see if he can make me a giant tree, what it will cost, and um, what he thinks about that idea. Okay, so the trial is going to begin in five minutes, so I figured I'd head to spawn, check out what's going on here, head to the courthouse, and get prepared for my testimony well i i said we head into to court okay court starting everyone may be seated you may be seated so we are gathered in this courthouse today for the trial of gamer buddy versus smallish beans hmm. so if the prosecution would like to give their opening statement okay hello jurors hello everyone else we as a community when we make a public space like spawn we expect it to be safe. When we go to spawn, we're not expecting to have to be on guard at simple local businesses. I don't think that's true. There should true. be a standard level of safety we can all rely on. Mm. And Joel abused that feeling of security when he built an 11 block tall <laughs> ladder with no signs, no railings, <laughs> and no water to fall into. Some of us don't have the best armor or the most hearts, and they're expecting us not to endanger them any more than they already are. Are we not a community that looks out <laughs> for the safety of others? Or was Joel's intention to cost even more lives with his dangerous shop, which might I add, has a literal headstone? <gasps> we as a community must do better. Okay, Thank not bad, not bad. Fence, would you like to give your opening statement? All right, Lizzie, come on. You got Good this, evening, girl. ladies and gentlemen of the court. Judge Scott, the jury, thank you for taking the time out of your day oh, to attend this trial. <laughs> <laughs> this trial is a frivolous attempt to pla pass the blame onto an innocent man. Hmm. Throughout this trial, we anticipate that his moral character will be misrepresented by the opposing counsel mm -hmm. to push a fictitious narrative of mm. wrongdoing. Mm -hmm. We ask that you first get to know this man for who he really is. Smallish beans here is a husband, a father, <gasps> two beautiful pets, a hardworking Minecraft builder, and an upstanding member of the X-Life community. In today's trial, you will be presented <laughs> with headline. evidence of the safe use of the shop by many other players. You will be presented with evidence of a continued pattern of reckless behavior from Strawberry17 <laughs> to support the conclusion that she is wholly responsible for her own death on that day, not the defendant, Smallish Beans. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so if prosecution, would you like to bring forth your evidence? We all, I'm sure, once we heard about the incident, went and watched Megan's video and saw it happen mm -hmm. before our eyes. Yep. 
As she even exited the shop, we recognized how dangerous it was. And even in an attempt to be careful, as she exited and stepped down the ladder, she missed completely and died. <laughs> nothing, nothing to stop her from falling. We obviously also have other shops and other places that have very tall ladders, like the Four Heart Clubhouse, but there is a trap door right at the very top to make sure that you don't overstep. Just because, you know, we care about the safety of others. <laughs> Flip. <laughs> yeah, maybe, maybe. She should have been a little more careful. But also, is it not our duty as a community to look out for each other? We all watched Megan step off of that ledge and fall to her doom. Oh, I think that's, that's all the funny. evidence we need. My first and only witness is Mika. Okay, Mika, would you like to please take the stand? Sorry if I cry. Um, I'm really <laughs> shaken up by the events of the day. Mika, you were there on the day of the incident. Could you yes, just first describe in your own words what you witnessed? Oh, it was a tragic scene. I, I witnessed one of my best friends fall to her death. <gasps> Go to a clubhouse that doesn't even have a clubhouse. <laughs> I'm sorry, I, I, I'm too shaken up. <laughs> yes, it's funny that you bring that up, that Megan has also, now that she has lost her life, has been abandoned by all clubhouses because there is none for three hearts. Yes. Do we not have sensitivity for the low hearts? And I, I would like to add that when we confronted Joel about it, he tried to get Megan to do free labor by telling her she should build the three heart clubhouse. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This is true. As she should. He tried to tell her that she should be the one to build it because she now is the only member of the three heart club. Is but it was his weak? doing that left her all alone. We failed her. Do you have any experience with building and maybe construction safety measures that should be taken? Oh, oh yes, absolutely. Um, what is your, your actually, experience? I have a ladder out, outside of my house. Objection, you're on a hearsay. Rip Mika is not an expert in construction. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll rephrase the question. Would you say that you're quite familiar with work with ladders and construction? <laughs> Uh, yes, I'm quite familiar. I have many ladders at my own house. And would you say, especially in a place like Spawn where it's public spaces where we're all expected to go and we're not looking to watch out for our backs at every second when we climb a ladder, would you not say that it's on the person's duty who constructed the building that is a public space, a public shop, to make it safe? Yes, it, it was actually one of the very first things I learned on this server was to put a pool of water at the bottom of your ladder so you don't get hurt. And yes, how many of us in this courtroom have died to falling? Mm, not me. Which is why it's our job as a community at Spawn to make it as safe as we can for those of us that have less hearts. Uh, Some of us are much more careful. Can. I would even say because Megan was one of the people with the lowest hearts, she had been the most careful on the server mm. until the incident. It's also well known that Megan's kind of a reckless person. Mika just <laughs> said that she was reckless. I believe, yes, you were there. We we have the footage and you you witnessed everything. So if you're called back, you already know what happened. But I believe that is all of my questions for me. Okay, would the defense want to cross-examine? Uh, yes, Your Honor. Okay. Rip Mika, you were present at the death of Strawberry 17. Could you tell me who else was present on that day? Shelby was present on that day. And could you tell me in detail what occurred in the 20 seconds or so preceding Strawberry 17's death? We were going to be patrons of this shop uh, for <laughs> Smallish Beans. And uh, we all went up the ladder. And unfortunately, Megan fell off of her ladder. I can't remember if anything was said. My memory is <laughs> so bad. <laughs> I really can't remember. I rest my case, uh, okay. Your Honor. I have no more, no further questions <laughs> for the witness. Okay, and um, that you're all done here. <laughs> you can take a seat back in the, the audience. Okay, so is that the end of the prosecution's case? Do you have anything else you wish the jury to know before we move on to the defendant? I would just like to make a comment that yes, I believe Mika did make a comment about the dangerousness of the ladder, and I don't believe that that makes it Megan's fault, but I think that that only further puts it as Joel's fault. Okay, so if the defense would like to bring forth your evidence. Ooh, yes. yes, Your Honor. Go, Lizzie, go. <laughs> Good evening. Uh, Your Honor, I present to the court Strawberry 17's Life History Book. If it pleases you, oh. I have a copy yeah. for you. <gasps> I have a uh. copy for all the jury members, for everyone. <laughs> woohoo! Woohoo! Everyone can. This book details the two death event events that have befallen 
Strawberry 17. <sighs> her first death, as we can see, was a mere 27 minutes after her arrival on X-Life. Okay. And it was caused by an unmarked lucky block, which she did not even hesitate to open. This is evidence of her reckless behavior. Mm. As you can see, the second death was the falling event, which we are here in the court today to discuss. And the, the opposing counsel would have you believe that in the 29 hours between her first and second death, that Strawberry 17 was invested in her survival. But this could not be further from the truth. <gasps> Strawberry 17 was in fact trying to lose a life. Your Honor, I have some more evidence to present. Uh -huh. Can you all see this? <gasps> oh, oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> A screenshot of Megan's video. Wow. wow. Titled, Opening Lucky Blocks Until I Lose a Heart. <sighs> Outright evidence that Strawberry17 is not cautious about her antics in the mm. X-Life world. Mm -hmm. Objection, it was just a clickbait title. That's not an objection admissible in court. Yep. <laughs> oh my god, Lucy knows her stuff. <laughs> Does the opposing counsel expect us to believe that despite her attempts to purposefully die opening lucky blocks, that on the day of the shop death, mm -hmm. she was even mm -hmm. trying to be careful? True. That is all. So, do you have any witnesses you would like to call forth? Oh, I do, Your Honor. I do. Where are you calling <laughs> forth? Let me just get rid of this, because this is, this is rather... Large. Rather... Oh <laughs> 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 Uh, I'd first like to call to the stand Solidarity Gaming, also known as Jimmy. Mr. Solidarity, could you first for the court please list the number of ways that you have died on this server? I've uh, <laughs> drowned. I've drowned in a lagoon. Mm -hmm. um, I've died by a crab. Um, and what was the last one? Oh yeah, I died in lava as well. A puddle, not a puddle, not a puddle. It's a lake. Yeah, so those three ways. Thank you, uh, Mr. Solidarity. So as the court can see, uh, Jimmy has quite a lot of experiences with the dangers of this server. And Mr. Solidarity, how many times have you used the shop on this server? Uh, I've used it two times. Has the shop ever caused you injury? Not at all, no, no. Not a single heart? No, no not a single heart. I, I know how to use the ladder, going up it and down. Thank you, Mr. Solidarity. <laughs> that is all the questions I have for you. Are you truly saying that you have never lost, maybe not a life, but maybe half a heart? Maybe even just taking a hit, but you didn't lose any hearts mm. from falling from a ladder? Uh, maybe, maybe elsewhere, but not on Smallish Bean's shop, no. But you'll admit, any one of us at any point could lose half a heart or so on a ladder. They're I, just I, dangerous generally. I guess so, I guess so, yeah. Thank you, Mr. Solidarity, you made you the seat. Thank you. Miss Shadley, did you have any other witnesses you wish to call for? Yes, I'd like to call my next witness, Joey Graceffa, to the stand. Oh my gosh. Yep. Mr. Graceffa, please come forth and take the stand. Judge, I have an objection. He's not wearing court, uh, <laughs> court clothes. He seems like he's going on vacation. <laughs> we, uh, sorry, you guys. Um, it's just, it's very difficult to be here and to look over um, that side. So I, I won't be looking that way. I, I, I can't look at her. <laughs> So I'm, if, if, Your Honor, if it's okay, I would just like to look at um, this side of the courtroom. Yes, that is fine, Mr. Gosef. And I do Thank promise you. to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Uh, I do. Okay. Mm. Miss Shadow Lady, you may continue. Uh, Mr. Gosefa, as a longtime friend of Strawberry17, how mm -hmm. would you describe her behavior here on the X-Life server? Oh, well, um, she's caused me quite um, distress while I've been on the server. You see, um, uh, uh, my first day on the server, I came across a very beautiful, small, innocent turtle um, that needed a home. And I was providing him a lovely home. And uh, I'm sorry, Shut it's just really hard to talk about this. Um, his name was Ninja. Objection. And Objection. He... not relevant to this case. Oh, it is. Uh, oh, uh, Your Honor, Objection. it's very relevant, I promise. Your Honor, I argue that this story is relevant. It speaks to Strawberry 17's character. So, as I was saying, Objection. the following day, I logged on the server to see that my turtle was missing and replaced by a frog. And oh. I was so confused and distraught at where my uh, precious ninja went. And I, I soon found out that Strawberry 17 
aka gamer Burry, she she stole she broke into my home and she stole my turtle from me with her lasso which by the way she's very reckless with um but anyways i i was willing to forgive her um because you know maybe it was just a joke but it turns out that she murdered my poor no. innocent turtle and i was heartbroken i didn't know if i could forgive her for that um and so, therefore, I, I just don't think she's a, a, a person that should be trusted on the server. If she's willing to murder a small, innocent turtle, who's to say she's not to do that to one of us? Or herself, for that matter. Thank you, Mr. Graceffa. Um, could you also speak to the character of Smallish Beans? As a simile, you are a longtime friend of his as well. <gasps> Oh, Joel has been nothing but an honor to have on the server with his gorgeous builds that he provides for our viewing pleasure. And it's just <laughs> truly That's something funny. to be admired. You cannot break yeah, um, as you can see, there's um, a lot of disturbance going on from that side of the room. And I Sorry, haven't, I haven't Sam, heard, continue. Take your time. I haven't heard Joel complain once at all at this courtroom, but I'm hearing a lot of mumbling coming from that side of the room. So I think that speaks a lot of volume about who Joel is as a person and a player on the server. Very respectful, honorable man. Your Honor, it's, uh, Your Honor, I'm sorry. It's also very difficult to look at this woman in the eyes as she was part of the, the process of um, the, the disappearance and kidnapping of my turtle. So if you don't mind, if I just look down. Mr. Graceffa, I'm going to have to ask that you do look Miss Shovel in the eyes to keep the court session in play. You did okay. promise to tell the truth, sure. tell the truth and nothing but the truth. Okay, I'll, I'll do it. I'll do it for Joel. We're going to bring up the turtle incident as something to speak on Gamer Burries. Character. I think that it's relevant to also mention that Joey had threatened her life first. Objection, he threatened Your Honor. all of our lives. We're not attesting to the character of my witness where the trial here is about Mr. Smallish Beans. The character of the witness is important because we need to know that he's actually being honest about the events that were recorded. All of our videos are up in public. And the event was an accident. Megan helped us build an oasis for the turtle just as like a, a short, it was a prank. We all prank our friends and it was an accident. It was only after he had threatened all three of our lives. And the turtle died by accident. Nobody had actively killed the turtle. I believe it's important to note Joey's character as he has also, as it was mentioned, the lassos, been lassoing people left and right on the server. He's just as reckless, so if we're going to be bringing that up, I think that it's notable that Joey has also been just as reckless. Uh, that's not a question, Your Honor. Uh, I don't have any not for, okay. <laughs> your, your Honor, Your Honor, if I could just say one more thing. I think we all oh. know that we're, we're living in a world full of Karens. Mm. And Karens who want to speak to the manager and sue over every little thing. Mm. And I think Gamerbury is showing lots of signs of being a Karen. And I just I just want you guys to keep that in mind that... Mr. Graceffa, please keep the insults out of my courtroom. Okay. This is kangaroo court. <laughs> well, yes. uh, I think that's all I have um, to okay, say. Okay, you may take a seat. My, I would like to make a statement. I <laughs> would just like to say that I love being on this server and I do really like ladders. My entire house is built with ladders. I don't have stairs. I, I have ladders for every single floor, so I'm used to using them. I've gotten better at parkour. I, uh, I, I never killed a turtle. It definitely happened on its own. It was living in a one-by-one -one space. I was just trying to provide a better uh, temporary home for it while a bigger house was being built. And that, you know, things should be safe. They should be safe on this server. I, I don't, when when there's holes in the ground, I fill them. If I see a big crevasse when I'm adventuring, I try and like create like a bridge or a little bit of dirt around it so that if someone else comes across it, maybe they won't fall in the hole and die. I think about these things and I think about everyone on this server because I feel like we all deserve a fair chance at living. I just would hope that everyone else was kind of thinking the same way. Maybe that was wrong for me to assume. You know, Joel's ladder was very, very dangerous. And it's, it's, it's at spawn. 
What happens when Ollie comes on the server and just falls to his first death? I worry about him whenever he <laughs> decides to log on. <laughs> Anyways, that's it. That's all I have to say. And if the defense would like to make their closing speech. It is unequivocally true that the ladder does not have a block behind it. The question I pose to you is does it need a block behind it? Ladders are a safe way to move vertically and are used daily by the players on this server without resulting in death mm -hmm. or injury. Mm -hmm. In fact, the very ladder in the shop is used regularly by a diverse number of players on this server, again, with no injury or death. After all the evidence you've been presented with in the court today, how can we condemn this innocent man to lose some of his money, one of his lives, or spend some of his time in jail. I implore you to return an innocent verdict. Thank you. Well, if the jury would like to remove themselves from the call and deliberate and come back to me with your decision. Okay, <laughs> have the jury came to a verdict? Yes. And we have come to a decision that Joel is innocent. <gasps> Yay! Yeah! Yeah, we think what? it was just an accident. But it would be nice if he added a safety feature for next time. Okay, thank you, jury. I will take that into consideration with my sentencing. Okay. So, <laughs> the jury has decided that Smallish Beans is not guilty. Woo! And it holds no responsibility for the loss of life from Miss Burry. It is advised by the court that you do make some alterations to make sure that we don't have a situation like this again. But... It is an advice, not a law. Can I say I will, I will, I will add the barriers to protect <laughs> the young innocent people like Megan on the server who are unable to use ladders properly. Goodbye. Mm. Thank Stand you. Well, oh, yeah. <laughs> I was Thank about you. to say what a nice man, but he sprinted out that door. <laughs> <laughs> Don't put your armor back on. Be careful out there. <laughs> well, well, well. Look who's decided to show up. Hello, I, I, you know, I saw this giant mushroom in here and I thought it was so cool, I had to come over and check it out. So. Wow, the King Builder is giving me a compliment on my mushroom building <laughs> skills. <laughs> I'm flattered, thank you. I, I am I am thoroughly impressed with really. these. I, I hate building big mushrooms. I don't know what it is about them, but I I struggle with them. Yeah, I think I need to extend the, the depth of it a little more, like expand the red down, like maybe three blocks each mm -hmm. at least that's what people in the comments were suggesting but i don't know <laughs> if i have the courage to go back up there yeah bringing them down once they're already up that's that could be a little crazy <laughs> yeah the and risk I, of falling is before i had all these flowers i had a whole pit of water that i could fall in and i can't do that <laughs> again so i think i might just have to stay no i i love it as it is I, oh I thanks need to change anything on oh it. well there you have it it's been confirmed okay perfect <laughs> Uh, okay, so the reason why I brought you here is because I heard that you're going to be soon presenting your services of building skills to the people of X Life. That that is that is very true. Wow. Very you, so. Oh. Oh. Okay. <laughs> well. Uh, all right. Well, he has experience in this. So. Basically, I don't trust myself with building this idea I have, and I figured this would be a great idea for you to build <laughs> okay <laughs> so um basically in alice in wonderland the way she enters into wonderland is by falling into a hole at the base of a tree and i saw a commenter saying that i should have my waste stone be inside a giant tree Ooh. so i, I like wanted that. to see if like that, that would be possible if you could build a tree trunk like kind of like the size of this and up into like a a big pretty magical majestic tree okay how how big how big of tree <laughs> size are you looking for are you looking for something like what we have with the, i have the, the clubhouse over there or oh are you let, me for see, like let me see bigger than that one let's take a look at the clubhouse um hmm well i guess because the base is probably a little bigger than that one i would say maybe slightly a little bigger than that, that tree house okay but that's yeah that's pretty good size I think gotcha okay yeah, yeah no, that'd be doable okay um and then I was trying it's been to think a long time oh since oh my god that's not oh you that's gosh. Scott I thought <laughs> I was coming back to talk to you and that's not you where are you oh hi <laughs> 
Oh, he has a gift. Oh. Okay then. Hop on X Life chat. Oh, he's a it's a crab. What? No, no it's gone. I don't, I don't know what it is. Uh oh. I hope he's coming on the chat to explain oh, no. what. Hello. Hello. Creating a gift. Okay. There you go. You Thank failed. you. Oh my god. Oh, he's running away. You he's don't nervous. Have to stand on him, but uh, if you've got yeah. armor on, you'll be fine. He do, oh, no, he likes you. me. He likes you. I wow. mean, he's trying to run away, but he likes you. <laughs> no. Just a little shy. Well, yeah, he's just. I yeah. have I have a gift for you too, Scott. Yeah, I'm not scared. Joey, I, Joey, I know what animals in the mod pack attack and what one's doing. Oh, dang it. I'm not Lizzie. Don't scare me like that. I love this little crap. He's so cute. Thank you. Yeah, oh, my welcome. God. Get I'm sort of just going around giving everyone a crab pet. Once I discovered like three of them, I just started breeding them and giving everyone a crab pet. You're, you're breeding crabs? I to make crabs? sure that I say crab pet. You're... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I can't say I'm just giving everyone crabs. I need to say I'm giving everyone a crab pet. So you're spreading crabs around the server. I'm spreading crab pets. Uh -huh. Okay, yeah, okay. crab pets around the server. Yep. Got it, got it, pets. got it. Pets. Sure. I think everyone now has a crab except maybe Mika and Joel. And then Pat and Eleni, I think, are the only other people I need to give a crab pet to. Huh, well. <laughs> but yeah, as long as you're not like an idiot that stands near your crab without any armor on, you'll be fine. Oh, okay, yeah, like, perfect. Don't, don't wear like diving gear next yeah, to the crab. Only, That's only silly people idea. would do that and then yeah, die. I don't, I don't Wait, know. Who, do that who did that? Who did that? Who? Jimmy did that. Oh, the oh. latest member of the Four Heart. Oh, yeah. no. <laughs> Jimmy did Oopsies. that. So. I don't take responsibility once I give you the crabs, by the way. They are now in your possession. And Thank you. I will make him a tank and a, a gorgeous home. I appreciate it. They actually also, they're not like the turtles. You can put them in water. They do go underwater, I found Ooh, out. Ooh, okay, that's fun. I was oh, scared cool. for a while, and then I just found one of them escaped its little island. And I just found it chilling at the bottom of the, like, <laughs> the ocean. So I was like, okay, so they can go in the water. Nice to know. Okay, so, perfect. Um, but that's fine, I just wanted to give you a crab. Well, thank you, Scott. I appreciate it. Also, your radio is very cute. I am enjoying it every time I see a new thing pop up. Oh, thank you. Well, we're discussing a new feature that Flip's going to build for me. So there'll be more mm. to come I'm back and see. To see it. Yes. I see that you've also been delving into Lizzie's flower mod. Girl, don't even get me started. That mod literally took years off my life. The amount of time <laughs> it takes to grow flowers, who knew? You should see, I like spent oh my all gosh. tonight like hoeing this massive area of my like area. So I now just covered it in like blue sign and white flowers. It looks oh really good. I'll have to show, uh, Scott, I've done more to it since you last saw it, but I'll show you guys both the garden that I made too. Ooh, so. yeah, I'd love to see the garden. We've all just been like, wait, we can make custom flowers? <laughs> I yes. know, they're so pretty. I, I just wish they showed up on the mini map as well. Like, oh, so it looks colors. That. It doesn't look oh, sad, but anyway, I will leave you to be. Enjoy your All pet right. crab. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Okay, so do you? What do you think? Like with the base of this tree being this thick, ooh, I, I guess I'll leave that up to you to kind of determine the dimensions yeah. of what you think is accurate. Mhm. Mm so I think with this one, I think the general shape could be like this. But we might be able to give it a little bit more form to it instead of just okay. being like a hard circle. Oh, so okay. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, sure. Yeah, so bringing in a little bit on the corners, but I think it's definitely doable. Uh, I think it could be cool. I My worry is if you want the base to be this big, it could totally overshadow like the house. Mm. So I don't know if you want the tree to be like your main big focal point that we have here. Or I I could be wrong on this one, but in Alice one because she crawls out of the hole, right? Like, yeah. There's, there's a hole underneath it. Yeah. Which is like a, a rabbit den or a fox den or something yeah. like that that she crawls out of. We could go with a slightly smaller tree and actually have the waystone underneath. Underneath. Because then you're I, I just worry that like if we did a tree this big, like it's gonna be Humongous. the leaves yeah. if we want to make it look normal. The it would be like way up there, be coming yeah. out to like this this far off. Which then like up in the sky, you mean? Look really small. Yeah, yeah, way, way up in the sky. Okay. Which is, like, rough, rough mm. dimensions wise. We could turn this into a little bit of a mound here. 
Okay. Uh, raise it up and then drop the drop it down a bit and create a little area inside. Yeah. Oh crap. So would I have to move this though? Based on I mean I live by spawn. If we want to move it, people can come back here and Yeah, yours, I don't think yours it's is pretty easy to get to. So we could potentially move this whole area to like here. Yeah, if you'd want to. I think so. Because if you moved it over here, you could keep the pathway going directly up to your castle too. So you won't have to go like around it or anything. Mm true 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 okay maybe yeah let's let's do that let's let's rearrange things let's I'll, I'll keep this here for now and then once you finish the build i'll put it in a position of where you leave a space for it okay yeah okay sounds good to me all right so now that we have that squared away let's uh let's talk about deal points uh what exactly this is gonna cost me so I think since we talked about the smaller tree size, when you were first was saying that big one, I was thinking, oh man, that's probably like a 40, 50 diamond one. Okay, okay. Um, but I would say for the smaller tree size, it for me, it depends on, am I the one gathering the resources or are you mm. the one gathering the resources? I, I can gather the resources. Okay, if you're grabbing the resources, I would say 15 diamonds and I can do the whole build. Oh, wow. Okay, yeah. I, I, I would... I think if we go the smaller size, because... I'm thinking the top branches will probably be about similar height to the highest point on your house there. Okay. So it won't be too crazy big for a tree. Yeah. Cool. Let's do that. Let's um, that. What what color leaves and what wood do you think would be the best? Because um, it's, it's supposed I to be whimsical, say... magical, so I would want to do maybe yeah. a colored leaf. Let's actually what look colored at the leaves difference. do we have right now? There's purple, blue, yellow, pink, orange. I would say the orange would look cool, but I already did that on the clubhouse right next to you. So oh, I don't want that. <laughs> yeah, that's um, true. That's true. I mean, maybe it could be a rainbow tree. Maybe there's a little bit of each. Each branch has yeah. a different color. Well, I, I pulled up uh, Alice in Wonderland while we were chatting. I pulled up some of their like concept art that they did on the side. Uh -huh. It looks like they have a lot of like blues and pinks and purples and stuff in the trees that they have. Oh. And like the Cheshire Cat, like originally was blue and purple and everything. It looks like. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, so okay, okay. Go Let's go with like, like a the tree kind of base colors. Yes. Off of that. Let's make it a Cheshire Cat tree inspired. Okay. So we can give it a big branch or something for something to hang out on. Yeah. And we can... Oh my god, wait, that's such a good idea. And I could even get a cat. Like, I could go rescue a cat, and that could be its home for there inside <laughs> the waystone. Okay, this is sounding real cool. But maybe we should go with a, a purple and blue theme for, uh, like, okay. for the leaves. Yeah, I would say purple and blue. And then what wood logs do we have but that what could look kind of cool would be strip spruce wood so if you just grab spruce wood that'd be kind of cool that'd be okay. kind of a lighter brown and be smooth so the leaves would stand out more sure um so that could be kind of cool um but kind of i would say that or like an oak or ooh, i don't know yeah probably strip spruce strip dark oak or oak just regular oak I would say would be one of those three would what I would pick. I think. But if you want to just pick of those and see what you like the most, we can go with that. I think they'd all look good. I like the um, the spruce. You mentioned the the different blocks. What was it? The oh, the, the, the weird posts. Ones. Yeah. So what what would blend best with that? Oh, there's they're just all the wood types for those. So oh. The regulars and the strips and everything. So we're good. Okay, cool. They all work out perfectly. All right. Well, I will. Oh crap, I actually don't know where to get spruce. Actually, oh spruce wait. What I'm kind of low on. I think the purple the purple or pink trees. Wait, do I have No, I had pink. Okay. I guess I need to go on a hunt for purple and blue trees. <laughs> that is my next mission. I have a few of the saplings I can help you get started on that. That's it's okay. I want to go on an adventure. Here. I want to okay. go find them in the wild. Perfect. Well, once you get everything ready, I would say if you get like a s half a chest of the each type of leaf and then like a half chest of like spruce logs, that should be way more than enough. Probably okay. even less on the spruce log point, but just kind of that amount. And then dirt and stuff to make the mound. I can bring that over. That's easy to get. Okay, cool. Cool. Sounds good. Fun. Let me know when you I'm get excited. all that stuff ready and I'll be jumping over here to build it. All right. Sounds good. I'll talk to you later.
All right, sounds All right, good. Have bye. a good one, Jake. Thank you. Look at how pretty it looks out in my garden at night and in the rain. It is so magical, but I am going to sleep because I want to go on my quest to go find those trees. Now, I actually looked at the Cheshire Cat and she's pink and purple, not pink and blue, if that's what I was going for, or purple and blue. So I need to find a pink tree and a purple tree. Although I, I guess I already have the pink trees, so it's really just the purple trees that I need to find, I think. Let's look. Yeah, I need to find the serene blossom leaves because I already have the sweet blossom, which I think what I should do is... Excuse you, Mr. Krabs. You be nice to... I still don't have a name for him. We'll, we'll have an episode where I name these creatures. Don't worry. And I also let... Uh-oh. Oh, no. No, I let, I let that... The alligator guy out. I thought he'd be fine down there. Oh, no. I'm also missing my big turtle. Yeah, you know what? I, I don't think down there is probably the best place. I've I've lost my, my pet guy I was gonna name him well I don't know what I was gonna name him but that's sad where oh, okay crabs there where's little turtle oh, you killed you monster you killed you killed them both he's not down here Scott I blame Scott for this one he gave he literally killed both he killed both my turtles and my big guy, alligator. I hope you're happy. You're evil. You're evil. That means we need to get vengeance on Scott because I'm not going to take responsibility for the fact that I placed him down. I'm going to blame it on Scott because I didn't know that he killed other people. I thought he only would hurt people, not cute, innocent turtles. Now I need to go find a little turtle guy again. And a big turtle guy again. And a friendly man. That's so sad. Well, the good thing is we're going on an adventure. And I'm sure we'll find some along the way. I'm making it nighttime so I can sleep through this rain. Yay, the sun is shining. Shining, shimmering, splendid. Okay, what else do we need? I think we're good. We're good to go. Let's go on an adventure. I have been going that way the entire time that I have. There's a beacon of hope from over there. Well, let's uh, let's go this way. I don't think I've ever traveled east from my house. I've gone north and I've gone. I don't know what other ways I've gone, but we're going this way. I'm hopping in my boat. We're going to go browse around. We need to go. I was gonna plant those trees, but you know what? I'm not gonna be around there anyways for them to grow on their own. So, we're just gonna go on a little adventure and hope that we can find these trees and hopefully a new turtle. Damn, we've already gone through, this is gonna be my third turtle. First Megan, next Scott. Scott indirectly just killed that turtle. Let's, can we all agree on that? I think we can. Good. I'm glad you guys agree. Now, I will catch up with you guys once I come across something worthy of recording. Until then, I will be on the hunt. Just almost broke my leg. I will blame Scott for that one, too. Okay, well... Oh, that's where... Solidarity lives? Well, chances are he's probably explored this area, but you know what? Who knows if he was on the hunt for a purple tree? because he probably wasn't because I don't see any colorful trees over there. So it's all up for grabs. Let's go. Ladies, we found our first color tree. It is a yellow tree and I've seen these before. I think maybe it was an orange one. Maybe it was in like the first episode or the second episode. What episode was that? I don't know, but I wanted one of these saplings when me and Shelby were chasing after it and I just kind of gave up on getting it and so I never got the sapling is this spruce ah fabulous well we got some spruce logs come on give me a sapling <gasps> there's one give it here and give it now 
one little sunny blossom sapling. I want to get one of each, so I still need an orange, a blue, and a purple. <gasps> That'll be fun this episode. Oh, I also went in and I found a building that was already explored, but someone left a saddle in there, so I took it. All right, I'm impatient. I don't have time for this. Hurry up. Dropity drop drop. Okay, I already have this pink tree, but hey, it's here and it's gorgeous and this is a lot of spruce wood, so give it here and give it now. Look at that! Oh, more spruce. It did a spruce forest. Oh, I wonder if that means there'll be other ones because I think I'm near some spruce trees. So, I will actually need a lot of this pink stuff, so... Do I have shears on me? What am I doing? I do have shears. Oh my god. Oh my god. Thank goodness. I'm so stupid. I'm supposed to be collecting this stuff. Oops. No, don't despawn. I was kidding. I was just kidding. Please wait for me. Okay. All right. Let's... Oh. Uh-oh. Revive, revive, revive. Revive those heart shards, girly. Let's collect. Yeah, I'm supposed to be collecting all these pinky girls. I'm <laughs> so dumb. <gasps> Guys, I think I found the mother or the father of my, uh, my guy. That Are you, do you, are you, do you hurt? Are you part of the friendly family? <laughs> I don't know if he, I don't know if he's a bad guy or not. Let's, <laughs> let's lasso him. Okay, well we caught him. We caught, the, that was freaking huge. So, he didn't run away like the little one did, but he he looked a little aggressive, like he was getting close to me. So, I got a little nervous, but it seems like everything's okay. I don't know. Okay, I just want to freaking find a purple tree, damn it. Or give me a lucky block. I want a lucky block. Let's find a lucky block. Let's find... Oh, another pink tree. Hi. All right, I'm gonna go sh- Oh, uh-oh, okay. There's, there's another mommy. Do you think the one that I found was a baby? Do you actually hurt? I'm scared. No, you're nice. <gasps> Look it, it's a whole family of big ones. You guys love each other? Yeah? Hi. Okay, let's run past- Oh God, it scares me. It real scares me. Okay, I'm gonna go shave this tree down and then we're gonna continue our quest. <laughs> Someone's been here. Someone exploded a lucky block there. Oh, everything's been so exposed. I wanna find a place no one's been before. Y'all, y'all, hello. I'm at, I found the most beautiful flower garden. Look at all these flowers, wow. I mean, they're not as gorgeous as my flowers, but it's so cool to see all these pretty flowers around here. Look it. Hi, where's your owner, sir? And what, <gasps> ooh, is that the, it's the buttercup. Remember how I said Shovel had them, but I said, no, I want my own. Where's that poor llama's owner? He was just abandoned out here. So these buttercups revive your heart shards. It's regeneration. So that is very freaking cool. We love that. I got two of them. I wonder if you can grow more. I wanna find more. Are these all little? Oh my God, look how many there are. <gasps> look at the particles. That is so magical. Come here, gather around buttercups all around for Joey to have. I love them. That is so cool. I love all the little particles. So pretty. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna take all of them because if someone else finds this, I want them to be able to enjoy the rewards. So I just got home to go, you know, just recharge. I put a waystone down. I was gonna go back and I went to go put things in my inventory and I was like, wait, the sweet blossom and the serene blossom. Bitch, I already have the freaking purple damn tree, y'all. I didn't have the pink one, and I got the pink one. And I have a bunch of pink leaves, so I just need to plant a bunch of the purple ones. Oh my goodness, I would have just been walking around, but I still wanna find the orange and the blue one. I think that's still a mission that needs to be done. So, I got purple, pink, 
and yellow. So I just need blue and orange. And I actually wonder if the orange one was the original one that I, I saw, but I don't know. I'm just gonna keep exploring because I also want to freaking get a lucky block, okay? Guys, 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 guess what I found? Guess what I freaking found? Oh my gosh. Oh, I feel so happy. I feel so happy. I need to get my lasso out. Look who is here. Where'd you go, little buddy? <gasps> no, don't drown. Don't drown. No. No. Oh. Okay, I think I got him. Do I have you? Hi! Oh, cute little fella! Hi! You're my new friend! Yay! Oh my god, I'm so happy I found a new little turtle baby. He's so sweet. Don't worry, I will not put you near any crabs. Scott will pay for his sins that he's committed. Let me know in the comments how I should get back at Scott because how dare he? How dare he? Dare he? Look at this. I didn't know there was such thing as a swamp village, but apparently there. Oh, look at how cool they look. <laughs> Little swamp. Actually, they're not really that cute. Hi, sir. Don't jiggle your head at me. How dare you? May I call you Jiggly? Okay, let's let's ransack this town. Y'all got any good stuff? Any Looty McLooterston? Doesn't seem like it. Looks like you guys got alligators though. An iron golem. You know what, I will steal that iron golem. No, I can't, I have, my lassos are full, sorry. <sighs> Do you guys not have any chests in here? Oh my gosh, okay, those alligators are real gray. <gasps> They're guarding. Ah! Oh my God, there's so many. Why are there so many alligators in the swamp? I'm so confused. Uh-oh, uh-oh. <gasps> oh, I lagged out. Okay, okay. Listen up, alligators. You're gonna let me through and you're gonna like it. Okay, that was a bad idea. There's nothing in here. I'm just gonna go for a little- <gasps> Ah! <laughs> Can I get out? Make a run for it, go! Oh my god, you guys have the worst village I've ever seen in my entire life. You guys literally have nothing of value. I've been in there, I've been in there. I don't think I went in here. So let's check this door. If there's nothing behind door number three, have I already been here? Oh my god, I have. What a pointless village. You all should be slaughtered for the sins you've all committed, just like Scott. Ugh, I'm disappointed. Okay, that is a big alligator. That probably will be super painful, so let's not lose our fourth life. Okay, okay, work. Um, yeah, that was a waste of a village. Oh, look it, it's one of the frog things that were given to me that are so weird and ugly and not ninja, okay. And my quest continues to find the blue tree. I think that's the purple tree, not the pink one. So I should probably get those. <gasps> ah! Oh my God. Okay. I, I should get those leaves. I'm going to get those leaves. Get off the ground. Oh my God. He's chasing me. Stay back, sir. Ha ha. You can't get me. Na 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 na. Loser. Oh, this is going to get me so many purple leaves. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay. Well, it is the next damn day because I got freaking glitched in this tree while I was shearing. <gasps> Just when I thought it was over. This is a demonic tree. Uh, stay away from it. No one go near it. It keeps doing this to me. So I think what happened was I was like shearing the leaves and the freaking Minecraft was so shikaronium and cheese over it. It said, uh, sorry, I can't. So I, I was trying to block up the block that I shears and basically, oh, look at this, the big ones again. She said, no, she said, nope, I don't like it. Don't do it. And so I was like placing blocks, I accidentally placed water and I think the water like really freaked it out. So that's that. Um, oh, someone's been here. It's been compromised. Why is my screen not loading? What is going on with Minecraft? Hello, Lodianie. <gasps> oh! 
<gasps> Hi. Hi there, madam. I've been looking for a tree like you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, work. <laughs> Why? I wonder if I even moved at all. Like, was I even actually playing the game? We'll find out. Nope, she said you were actually here the whole time. Oh no, where was that tree? Okay, wait. There was this. <gasps> Hi, Gorge. Look at this. So pretty. Come here. Come here, come here, come here. Ooh, wait, this is actually perfect because it's on the mountain, so I can go up there, shears the hell out of it. Oh, wait, no, I shouldn't shears it. I should try and get the saplings. Okay, please. Yes. Okay, I'm not lagged anymore. All right. I just want to get some sapling girls, and then I will shears the rest. This is such a pretty color. Okay, well, basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a bunch of saplings from this, and then I'm going to go home and plant a bunch of these trees because... I already did that with the purple ones, and now I want to do it with blue. Oh, yes, here we go. Give it here and give it now. That's right. <gasps> oh my god! The dangers! I was like, why am I on fire? Poof! Oh, oh my god. What is going on over there? There's just a little zombie party happening. Oh my god, those saplings. Don't let them disappear. Girl, what is going on with the zombie parade? You stay away from me, sir. <gasps> it's raining. Up, oh, girl, you're gonna fall in that hole. Oh, nope, don't touch me, don't touch me. Stay away from me, you heathen. Where'd it go, where'd it go? Okay, it's dead. All right, I think I got, oh, you know what? I'm just gonna collect as many saplings as possible, plant a whole freaking forest of them. This actually would be such a pretty color for the tree. I don't know if I want to do the purple and pink. I feel like maybe I could do purple, bl pink, and blue. So I've planted a bunch of the saplings, the purple, and the blue because I think I already have enough of the pink leaves. So we're just gonna let these grow. I've also been growing clovers, which is another thing that I wanted to add to my area to make it super cute, just to be like, ah, look at these little clover patches. I don't know if they spread. I hope they spread because it's going to take a lot to fill up this area, but I just thought it would be super freaking cute to have little clover patches. <gasps> oh, it's so magical. I love that. I wonder if I should add different colors. Do we like just the white or should I get different color clovers? Who knows? Also, I kind of wish that I made this bridge bigger, but at the same time, Maybe that would look a little weird. I think it's fine. I really want to give this a makeover. That's going to be a whole episode. So give me some ideas in the comments of what I should turn this into. Mostly just like colors and like a vibe that I should go for. Not necessarily like adding and destroying it completely. I can expand upon it, but I don't want to break down the foundation. Okay, anyways, I'm going to let these grow. I will catch up with y'all when they're ready to be harvested. Okay, so I've planted a bunch of the trees, as you saw, they've grown, and it actually looks so freaking magical. Like I honestly don't even wanna take them down, but I will because I need the leaves and stuff, but I, I like it. I think once I'm done with this tree, I will actually replace all these green trees with colorful trees. So it'll look super whimsical and magical, but I'm gonna get to work and I'm going to, you know, snatch the wigs off these trees. Ooh, this is actually perfect. It's like a little staircase up to the top. Yeah. Ah, oh, fabulous. And I can just shears the hell out of all this. Okay, well, I will catch up with you guys once I'm done snatching their wigs. Alrighty, you guys, so it is the next day. I got all the materials I needed, and I uh, pretty much just left them outside in a barrel for Flip to go and do his thing, and he did it. He made the tree, and I haven't seen it yet, so I've been in my house, and I'm ready to go out and see what he did. So let's go see our new spawn area, or oh, my spawn area. I'm excited. All right, I'm gonna keep my head down and then I'm gonna do a reveal where I look over. All right, 
ready? Three, two, one. <gasps> Whoa. Oh my gosh. Look at a little cake. Jump, jump, enjoy the cake. Flip. Oh, so freaking cute. I love the little roots that come down. That was a nice touch. Okay, wait, let's actually take a closer look at this. This is so freaking cute. I need to delete this tree because she's large and in charge. You gotta go, girl. Okay. That is so perfect. It's not too big. It's not too small. I actually really like the size because I have plans for what I want to do with this. And I didn't want it to, like be overshadowed by this tree. So I think this is so freaking cute. I wanna add maybe some like lanterns, like hanging from the tree, like some of the, those type of lanterns. And uh, I wanna do maybe something else down here. I think I might change the flooring. I might even bring it down one more so I can have a little bit more room so it's not so like you spawn in and it's like, you know, too crazed. So I'm gonna make some edits on this and um, I will, I'll, <gasps> hello sir oh look at these these vines are so cool hi a beacon he doesn't want to trade anymore he said I'm tired I don't have any more who, who traded you for that oh I bet flip did okay all right flip that should honestly be your payment you stealing my villager spawns Okay, so I'm gonna go do this. I will be back in a moment once I'm done with the interior and exterior. So, see you soon. Okay, this just in, everybody. This is my idea for the flooring, is to make it, you know, super checkered, like Alice in Wonderland floor. Um, kind of like when she falls in to the room with the table and she has to like, you know, eat a cookie or whatever. But the thing is, this requires so much material. It requires black dye blocks and bone blocks. And I don't have that many bones and I don't have that much black dye. So what I think I'm gonna do is first of all, I'm gonna release my turtle in here. He's gonna live in there for a bit. And we are gonna go get a squid from the ocean and hope that if I put him in my mob farm thing, it will make black ink or squid sack things. And then also I would like to get a Skeletron and put it in there and hope that it will create bones. And I will use those bones to make bone meal, which will make the bone blocks that are required for these individual things. So fingers crossed this works and it can work kind of quickly. So I guess I will update you guys once I'm done with that. And I guess while this is farming, I will work on the lanterns and maybe some of the decorations because you can place blocks, which I feel like is gonna be so perfect. I'll put little tables in there with little treats and maybe some doorways that lead to nowhere. Oh, I have so many good ideas. Okay, lasso with squid in there. Come on, Squidward, give me some ink. Give it to me now. Thank you. Oh, look at him. He's just inking in there. I wonder how much he'll actually give. Let's see. I still have some leftover meat in here. Give me the ink. Give me the ink. Come on, four sacks per. Come on. Do you not per one ink sack? One? Oh my gosh. Okay. Well, well, well. I should go get another mob spawner thing so I can put a skeleton in there at the same time because it's gonna look over wow. And I'm pretty sure that Flip is selling them at his shop. So let's go to spawn. Let's get some spawner things and get that going. Okay, this, if I wanna make a st another stone one, it requires two wooden ones. And I think he's selling wooden ones. So I will buy two wooden ones from him. The perk of living so close to spawn is I can literally just walk right on over here to my local pharmacy, my local general store, and get whatever I want. Alrighty, so how many is it? It's a one mob farm for four diamonds. Oh my, okay. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Well, don't mind me. Thanks. Pleasure doing business with ya. Whoa, guys! Okay, look at this. That is so freaking cute. I'm obsessed with it. That is just so perfect. Okay, back to work. Um, oh, I guess I should make it dark-sided. Oh, I need another lasso, don't I? I have one. 
I have the mommy in here. Okay, let's... Did the turtle disappear? Did he escape? <gasps> He's still in there. Okay, I don't think these will kill each other. <gasps> Please don't kill. Please don't kill him. He's too gentle. I don't think... I think they'll get along nice. Okay. Let's make it dark out and let's get a Skeletron. Here, Skelly, 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 Skelly. I'm System Nervosa. Can we do this quickly? Please, thank you. I need to light up my area at night, don't I? I sure do. Hey, sir, come here. No. Haha, <laughs> gotcha. Oh, I'm sorry. It was daylight savings time. I forgot to mention that. Oops. Maybe I should make him a pen out here. I feel like that would be so cute to just have him as like a guard dog. <gasps> I could put him on a lead. Will he despawn if I don't name him? That worries me. That worries me a lot. But you know what? We can always go back and get another one. <laughs> this mob needs higher farm tiers. <laughs> yeah, that's not happening. I, nope, nope. Sorry about it. Okay, well. That was a waste. How much ink? Ooh, 12 ink. Give it here and give it now. 13 ink. Give it here. Oh, where am I going to get bones from? Why does that have to be bones? Maybe I have some more hidden bones here. I don't. <laughs> Maybe there's another way to get bone meal. Oh, there is another way to get bone meal from the compost. Ooh, thrasher tooth. A thrasher tooth gives you six. Do I have thrasher tooth? Oh, I have, I have two thrasher tooths. But I could also put crops. You really wanted to keep these hay bales. Is the bone meal worth it more? Oh, can I put steak in there? Can I put rotten food? Or is it just crops? I think it might just be crops. Oh, I have, girl, I have so much hay bales. We're good. Let's go put that composter down. I think I actually hid it in here. Okay. We are going to get some bone meal today, ladies. Let's put this out by our garden. That's where it belongs. Over here. Yeah, you're still here. We'll put the composter outside. Right here. Okay. Let's put a bunch of this hay bale in here. I am not getting as much bone meal as I thought I would be. That was a whole stack. Oh my gosh. A whole stack for 13 bone meal? What a ripoff. Oh, that loves mushrooms. All right, 41 bone meal, 21 ink. Let's see what we can do. <laughs> I put a pike in there and it's jiggling around. I was seeing if this will make bones or like bone meal or something. So I guess we'll find out what exactly pike will make. It It's glitching out a little. She's just real freaking frazzled. She has a fish in her mouth. This poor little fish is like, oh, let me go. <gasps> All right, what are you going to drop? Oh, you literally just drop raw pike. Okay, you know what? You're not worth it. You are not worth it at all, Miss Honey Thing. I'm going to just let you out here on the floor. Oh, floppity flop flop. Oh, girl, she's living her fantasy. I don't know if she's, I don't think she's dying. I think she's just, she's happy to be here. You know, I'm just gonna let her, you know what, no, I will, I'll take you somewhere. I am confused as to why it's not drowning, maybe because it had a fish in its mouth. Ooh, floppyless. I'm just gonna put you out of your misery, I'm sorry. Now, if you guys had made me bone meal for whatever reason, it would've been great. I can't believe I caught it while it had a fish in its mouth. Two fish for the price of one. Okay, I think I have enough blocks to fill this in. I added some of the lanterns, which looks so freaking cute. But do I have enough to fill this in? I do. One, two, a three. -th. And then stairs will go there. Okay, now it's time for the fun part, the decorating. Now, do I keep it dirt? Probably. I'll keep it dirt. Now, I'm going to get to decorating and I will surprise you guys with what I come up with. You know what, you guys? I think I'm actually going to end the episode here. In between episodes, I'm going to decorate this. I'm honestly really tired and I have to get this episode wrapped up so I can edit it for tomorrow. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. It was a long one, so please slap that like button. It really encourages me to make these longer episodes and to do more things in them. So the more likes you give me, the more encouragement I get. So that's all for today's video. Until next time. Oop! I'll see you next time. Good damn. Bye.